All right, so in this video, it's gonna be a continuation of the previous video with scopes. In this one, we're gonna make custom scopes uh, for activity, per activity, and per, um, uh, per activity and per application. So uh, you can think of, um, let's say like a database or an okay HTTP client, you're gonna want that tied you don't want to create multiple instances for, of that for an app. You just want one per application. So you, you want to tie that to the scope of an application. So let me run this just off. All right, let me open up log, logcat. All right, you can see here the driver. Uh, there's two cars in our main activity, and it's the same driver for each car. So let's rotate that, which will destroy the activity and recreate it. Okay. And you can see now we have uh, two, we have a new driver. See, before it was 5C1A, now it's B5A3. So. Uh, what if, you know, think of our driver as like something we want to tie to the application scope. So like a database or the okay HTTP client, we don't want that to be destroyed uh, whenever the activity is destroyed and recreated. So I'm going to stop this and let's go ahead. Um, let's start working on this. So I'm going to make an application, we'll call it my application, add that. We're gonna extend the application class and we'll make a variable late init bar. Can I make this, I'll make this private. Um, it'll be called, com, uh, make it car component. I'll type car component. We'll override on create and we'll uh, initialize the component car component equals dagger car component uh, builder let's do horsepower a thousand cylinders zero and then build it and then let's make a getter for that component Okay, you can see it's still gray, so we need to reference that in our manifest. So specify name, my application, that's the one we just made. Um, and let's, uh, let's go to our car component. Okay, uh, let's go to main activity and let's reference our component, let's get it from our application. So uh, let's grab the application, cast it to my application, and I'll we'll call get car component. Let's do a rebuild. All right, it rebuild. And now let's run it. And we should see every time, even when the activity is destroyed and recreated, it should still be the same driver. So let's look at Logcat. All right, you can see we have a driver, 5C1A, driver 5C1A. Let's look at the what it looks like when we rotate it. All right, we rotated it. Okay, now what it is, it is still 5C1A. 5C1A. So now our driver is tied to the application scope, which is what we want. So, all right, let's let's um, let's say we want the driver to be tied to the application scope and the car to be tied to the activity scope. So let's um, let's go into driver. Right now it's annotated with singleton. Let's command click that. 
And you can see this is how you make um, a scope. Now, this is just the one from Java X. We're going to make our own. So we're not going to use a singleton anymore. We'll make our own. So go into that qualifiers. We'll make, uh, yep, go ahead and refactor that to uh, Kotlin. And then it, let's make it per activity. And then, I don't know what these, okay, let's change those, get rid of those warnings. And then let's make one more. And it'll be per application. Okay, so now we just made two of our own scopes. Let's close this and close that. And we're going to pretend like we don't own this driver class. So we get rid of these imports. All right, we're going to pretend. Let's see, pretend. Like we do not own this class. All right. Um, it becomes more clear when we don't use the inject to provide it, but rather make a module, a driver module. So, um, all right, we did that. Now let's go back to car component. And we want to tie our car component to the activity scope. So. Delete that, we'll use per activity. And now let's see. Now our this doesn't know how to make a car. So let's make another or first let's refactor that name. Let's change it to mm, where's refactor, rename. Change it to activity component. Uh, select all. Okay. Select all. Okay. Do refactor. All right. Good. Now let's make um, an application, an app component. We'll call it app component. It's going to be an interface. We need to annotate it with component. And we need to also give it scope per application. And um, let's put a function here uh, get driver. It returns a driver. No, oh, that's the wrong driver though. Not an S uh, we don't want an SQL driver, we want it cannot find oh there it is no nope. there it is. This driver. Alright, so now let's make a driver module for this. And I'll annotate it with module. And let's make this an object. And let's make a static function, a static provider. And we also have to scope this to per application. And provides function provide driver equals and we'll return an instance of driver okay let's go back to app component let's add that module okay uh, driver module the class Okay, this looks good. Uh, now we have to go back to activity component and we'll add that as a dependency to our activity uh, component. Uh, 
we need to add that to our builder so we can create it. So let's see, uh, app component, the name doesn't matter. Okay. Now, let's see, we need to annotate car because car is scoped to activity. So let's, let's change that to per activity. Now, let's go into our application class. Let's change this uh, to activity or app component. App component. Um, and we're gonna get rid of that. We should change this to get app component, and it's dagger app. We can't find it, so we have to do a little rebuild because we changed the dependency graph. Okay, it makes sense I can't find that because I changed the name. So go back to my application, dagger app component dot create. And then let's get rid of some of these imports. Okay. <clears throat> go back here. Now we're gonna make we want the activity, the dagger activity component, get the builder, we're going to add horsepower, It'll be a thousand, uh, cylinders, uh, zero, because it's electric, and then app component, and now we'll get the app component from our application, so uh, create, get the application, we have to cast it to my application, and then get app component, and then we'll do build on that. <clears throat> Let's rebuild it just to make sure that works. Mm. There we go, it built. Let's run it to make sure there's no runtime errors and make sure everything looks right. Okay, so driver 5C1A, driver 5C1A, so that's the same. Let's see what happens when the activity is destroyed and recreated. So I'm going to rotate, uh, go back into that, and you can see, same activity, or same driver, even though the activity was recreated. And different cars, which is exactly what we expect. Uh, I'm going to stop the app and you can see this is how you can tie certain things to an application scope and certain things to an activity scope and you can just make whatever uh, scopes you want uh, time to, to whatever uh, you need so um, so I'm gonna move this qualifiers file into dependency injection because that's more Appropriate refactor. There's an error. I have to go in here. The package is wrong, so I'll add it. And then there's probably going to be some errors on the stuff like, yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me add that, update this package. Uh, where else? Okay, oops. And then, let's see, what else? This one. We 
me just rebuild it, make sure it works. Oh, there's an air. Where is it? Electric motor. Try again. Okay, did that work? Okay, it built. All right, <clears throat> now I'm gonna add this on GitHub. And uh, let's see, added custom scope and mm, component dependency, dependency. All right, so it's on GitHub. I'll put the link in the description. Um, go ahead and like the video.